Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thanks for being here this week. I've had a fabulous week, but it's fabulous because you guys tell me I have fabulous guests. I've got my next guest for you. I've got Liz DeBolt Fosco. She's here with Airbnb and she's got some great information about weekend outdoors and how to make it last. Liz, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, you guys did a report in the last year, and you you guys looked at more than thirteen of the thirteen percent of the hosts shared their face with space with visitors while traveling on vacation. What can you tell us about that report? Yeah, so you know, summer is well underway, and I would bet that uh, if you're listening to this right now, you probably have a vacation plan, or you're at least trying to find a way to get out of town, <laughs> get away for a weekend uh, before the summer ends. And you know, you wouldn't be alone because this summer we are really expecting a pretty major travel rebound. But what you may not realize is that this demand means you can actually use your travel plans to earn money this summer and cover the cost of your trip all by sharing your home on Airbnb while you're out of town. So this is something that Airbnb hosts are already doing. You mentioned this, but I think it's really worth repeating. More than 13% of hosts said they shared their space with visitors while they themselves were traveling for either vacation or for work. Many in our community actually share their home pretty casually, you know, when they have time or when it works best for their family. So this is really something that anyone anywhere can try. And, you know, right, right here in Dallas, for instance, a host can can earn $2,800 per month on average by sharing their home with guests. So that means that, you know, share your home and after your first month, you're well on your way for paying for a, a long respite in, uh, say, Port, Ar- Port Aransas um, and have some, you know, great views of the, the coastline and, and you can just, you know, sort of escape to the water. So with this, this shift and what's happening with travel, is it getting easier for hosts to book people and get them into their, their space? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, first, just on the opportunity of hosting right now, half of new Airbnb listings that were activated in early 2021 got their very first reservation request within just four days of going live. That, that's huge. And that really speaks to, again, the demand of this moment uh, if you're looking to become an Airbnb host. So because of that, we wanted to make it easier than ever before to become a host. And we did. We've created a brand new onboarding process um, that simplified what used to be done dozens of steps to just 10. So that means it only takes you about 10 minutes from the moment you decide you're ready to share your home, maybe pay for that vacation, uh, to actually being up and running on Airbnb. That sounds good. You can be an Airbnb host. You know, that's a pretty good title to add to your lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. As people open their homes, are they they finding this uh, just an enjoyable experience? I imagine that they do. Yeah, absolutely. I think there are so many, obviously the income is great and the ability to pay for your vacation by sharing your home. That's obviously awesome. But I think so many hosts tell us they get such fulfillment from sharing their home. They meet people from all around the world. Um, and you know, they get to, you know, sort of travel from their own home right, through uh, the guests that they welcome uh, from, from different places. And many really enjoy the hospitality experience. You know, we have hosts who have started keeping chickens or growing vegetables so that they can treat their guests to fresh eggs or, or fruit or vegetables from their garden. They bake cookies for their guests. Um, and some just really like just chat- talking to their guests and telling them everything they love about their local community their favorite restaurants to try. So there's so much uh, fulfillment that you can find from becoming an Airbnb host from both the economic as well as the, the personal benefits. Well, let my audience know that Liz DeBoat Fusco is a communications lead for North America for Airbnb. So you're getting information directly from the source. Liz, uh, one of my posters wants to know, with summer travel so high, are there um, delays and waits in getting into locations? 
No. Well, so certainly when you uh, book your stay, um, you can obviously talk to your host directly. Usually hosts will provide you with details about how uh, the check-in process works. Um, but on top of that, we actually, given the, the demand that we were seeing this summer, we actually uh, significantly increased um, our, uh, the, our community support team so that if you ever have an issue, you ever need to get in touch with our community support team for some help, you should not have any problem getting the support that you need right away. That's great information. Where can my audience go online to either learn more about Airbnb or figure out how they're going to book their next vacation? Yeah, absolutely. So you can go to airbnb.com always to find places to stay. But if you're interested in becoming a host and you maybe want to share your space, pay for that vacation, you can go to airbnb.com slash host to get started. Have a great weekend, Liz Fusco, and thanks for stopping by the Valder Beebe Show. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.